What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Burn Down YouTube channel. And like the title of the video says, uh, I have my work memorialized in a toy car. And how cool is that? And I want to share a little bit of the story with you guys, for those of you guys that don't know. Um, and then kind of hopefully motivate you guys uh, that may have dreams of your own. So I figured I would just share a little bit. I want to show you this thing. So this is a 1972 and they called it a, a coupe de ville but his was like the caliesis or the cala something it wasn't the coupe de ville so i do know that but the crazy part is they copied the paint job that i did on his car verbatim like a hundred percent this is a clone of of what the car was painted like i'll show you real pictures so you see the pictures on the screen of what i actually did and they just went verbatim with it so the story behind this car um the reason this is extra special to me is because the guy that owned it was like a brother to me and he is no longer with us he passed away a few years ago and this was the first custom paint job that i ever did and he talked me into doing it i didn't even think i could do it um and then i had help i got um shown the ropes by another buddy of mine and he just recently passed away so his name was dave and he came over one day and showed me like basic like tape out and kind of uh, how to do some fades and how to do all the trick paint stuff because his dad was a famous painter like back in the 50s So he just gave me a rundown my buddy gave me the car and I just let it rip um, I struggled a bunch with the car um, I made some mistakes along the way I had to correct some things but ultimately what you see that's out there running around right now um, Is how the car ended up and how it turned out and that's what we took the shows and things uh, to show off and When I did this this was the most elaborate paint job I'd ever done at that point it probably still is at this point because i don't really get to do low riders very often um, but i did it right here in my own two-car garage i mean right where i'm standing filming this that car was in here for a while and i worked on it and uh kind of didn't have a clue what i was doing but i had a dream and that's kind of what i want to share with you guys is i've had a couple dreams as a car guy um when since i started one was to build cars on tv like all the other guys like i kind of grew up in that era when you'd watch the people on like Sunday morning and doing all that stuff. And I was offered a position to do that for the most part. It didn't go all the way through. As soon as I found out I had to relocate, I said, you know, I'm, I'm not interested. But as far as I'm concerned, them reaching out and talking to me was a win in my book. So I checked that one off the bucket list. That was really cool. My wife had a good conversation about that, but I just didn't want to put my family out and have to move. And you'd figure being near LA, that this is where the opportunities are, but these days uh, they're not. I guess car shows are done other places. And then the only other one that's like one of those ones that you always have in the back of your head is like, it'd be really cool if I had a toy car of my exact car. And Hot Wheels will make stuff, but they'll make similar things, but it's not really your car, right? But this one is verbatim and it's, you can't argue and, and you couldn't say, oh, well, it looks like the one you did. Like this is actually the work that I did. Um, and then the fun fact about this car, like I said, is I got car blanche to do whatever I wanted and he paid for the paint job and he just cheered me on and he got a smoking deal. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I, I put in more effort than the paint job was worth at the time. But looking back, I wouldn't trade it for nothing, and I would do it all over again, uh, you know, in a heartbeat for that guy if he was still here. So, um, really cool, but I just want to let you guys know that maybe you're in a small shop, or maybe you're in some situation and things feel hard, or stuff's not working, and it's not going the direction as fast as you want it to, because it never does. The thing is, you got to find and uh, love what you do, and you just do that, and it doesn't. the rest of the stuff doesn't matter. It'll either come or it won't, but... I'm going to say that I'm proof that, you know, I'm not in the big leagues or anything like that. I'm still right here. I'm not doing anything crazy. I just keep my head down and I enjoy what I do every single day. Um, and I'm fortunate that I get to do that. And for stuff like this, you know, people to call and then to find something like this at the swap meet, not knowing that this even existed, uh, just it blew my mind today because this, this happened today. I found this thing. So... This will go up, I will keep that probably forever. Try to keep track of it. My son collects Hot Wheels and then if he ever gets out of the Hot Wheel phase, I'll make sure that this one is the important one that goes with me wherever I go. We'll, we'll make some sort of something and hang it up somewhere. I'd like to get a couple more, but moral of the story is you guys keep after it, you know, keep chasing your dreams. And, and if you're doing what you love and you're doing well at it and you're growing and learning every day, uh, you're gonna get there. 
you know, you just got to keep your head down and it's, it's a long road and it's a hard road, but it's worth traveling. So that's my uh, words of advice. And I wanted to share my story and I wanted to share that with you because I, this is probably one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me being a car guy. And then it's funny because I wasn't a part of it, had no idea. They've actually sold the car. The guy that owns the car now reached out to me. So that's really cool. So now I know kind of where the car is. It's still somewhat local uh, to me, but even the guy that owns the car has these and he doesn't know how they did it. So I don't know what those guys are doing over there. We're going to contact these guys and maybe they, maybe they want a few more that they need to make. Cause I got a twin Winnebago and I got a Malibu that already looks like a cartoon. So you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching the video. Leave some comments. Let me know about your dreams and the stuff that you'd like to accomplish. And um, yeah, man, you'll get there. Keep your head down. Keep working. Keep grinding. Till next time. I'm out.